Welcome back. You're still watching Perspective, and we're still talking with Len Edwards from Canada, Center for International Governance Innovation. That's an interesting name, actually, Governance mm -hmm. Innovation. Uh, you don't usually link the two to get <laughs> <laughs> together. <laughs> well, can you explain on that? Well, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, the the organization was set up uh, uh, some years ago uh, to look at international governance right. practices and mm -hmm. institutions and to see how they could be improved through innovative approaches and mm -hmm. and that's really where CG the organization where you talking from. about here where yeah. it came from and um, and so now um, uh, it, it is very much involved in looking at other international areas of activity the security affairs political and so on mm -hmm. the challenges of the, in the United Nations is facing and and dealing with uh, with global problems and are there innovations that need to be made in the way we run the United Nations? The, the G20 right. is a, a big focus of what, right. what we do and right. so on. So that's how it comes from. Okay. Where it comes and from. Uh, in, in terms of this, this conference, hmm. this, this forum, uh, where does the innovation come? Well, hmm. it comes in any number of ways, right? Um, uh, we, we, we've been talking a few minutes ago about innovation through technological right. uh, capacities that we have. Um, you know, another area where where we have a, a lot in Canada is in sustainable development technologies, which right. could be applied in power development, power transmission, building of smart buildings, and all these sorts of things. One of our companies is called Canadian Solar. Um, it's involved in solar panels and mm -hmm. these sorts of things. And again, that's a sustainable development technology yeah, right. that uh, uh, they're they're in fact they're they're building and opening a factory here very shortly. So. Innovation in technolo and technologies, innovation in know-how, innovation in governance, mm -hmm. and, and you know um, how uh, uh, you know we can uh, improve the climate, sort yeah. of, for both sides. Yes, yeah, and and, and it, it goes to you know uh, um, as a, as a democracy, uh, Indonesia has is facing certain challenges in mm -hmm. local governance and uh, regional governance and so forth. We are we are a we're a federated state right. in Canada, and uh, we have a lot of experience in, in uh, you know, uh, how we divide up the the constitution Ottawa. of Canada, <laughs> what, what Ottawa does, and what the provinces do. So there are a whole series of things. If we look at this as an innovative mm -hmm. challenge, um, are there things that Canada does that would be of interest to Indonesia as you go forward? And right. uh, again, using innovative uh, approaches. Uh, th there's one sector that I always ask about. Uh, because it's it's very basic to any development is uh, education. Mm -hmm. Are you touching that side on, on education? Right. Well, we are, and again, uh, part of our attempt to make focus uh, this forum was uh, when we were here in January. We mm -hmm. understood that the challenges uh, that Indonesia faces in education, particularly technical education. Yes. Technical needs, occupational yes. uh, Actually, uh, needs. What is it called? Vocational. Vocational. Rather than yeah. like high. And, and again, we, we have developed recently in Canada, uh, there's an organization that, uh, that specializes in techni techni technical colleges and institutions and vocational mm -hmm. training, and we mm -hmm. have a representative of that organization that will be here and uh, speaking at one panel on this. So we think in that area, uh, there could be some interesting tie-ups possible, uh, where, uh, again, the Canadian approach might be of interest here in Indonesia. Is that um, I've, so far, I've been hearing like Canada to Indonesia. Yeah. Is there anything going the other way around? Well, there should be. There should be, and I'm in hoping. One way. <laughs> well, I'm hoping that that uh, that the Indonesian delegates will bring some of their ideas as to how um, how they can engage more in Canada. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that we would welcome more is investment in in uh, in Canada. It's by zero no, at the time. No, is actually, it? there is a bit. There are. There's a bit. It's not a lot. Right. Uh, but um, I come up from a province in Canada called Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Yeah. Saskatchewan, incidentally. Uh, has, is the largest uh, exporter to Indonesia of all Canadian provinces, um, over 50%. All but right. also, uh, I think the, the most important investment in pulp and paper uh, right. is an Indonesian investment in uh, pulp and paper uh -huh. manufacturing in Saskatchewan. Right. So we need more of those sorts of things. Yeah, Indonesians are not really known for being adventurous when, mm -hmm. they, when they do invest abroad or something like that. Is, is there any anything that you see compared to other 
let's say, ASEAN countries, Indonesia, uh, Well, Malaysia, Malaysia has some investments in Canada in the oil and gas sector, big gas uh, investment mm -hmm. on the West Coast to, to bring natural gas, liquefied natural gas to uh, the, the how, how, how does Indonesia compare to, to other countries in the region in terms of investment in Canada? I think it's about the same. Ah, I, right. we, we don't so have we're not really lagging behind in that No, sense. no, not, not South East, not ASEAN right. countries. Right, right, um, right. Certainly, you know, uh, other Asian countries, Korea, uh, China, and Japan yeah, are, are ma major that's investors. Different. Yeah. But, um, you know, again, distance has always been a bit of a problem. Uh, between our two countries and our two regions. Oh, you wouldn't think so at this age, no? You wouldn't think, but uh, but it's air travel is still, right. despite the, the modern connections, still takes a long time. Right, okay. And again, going back to your, the innovation theme, um, you know, we need to find ways, innovative ways, to connect people more. And and getting on an airplane isn't the only way. Yeah. We can do it through, you know. Uh, I mean, there's the a lot of ways to communicate nowadays. Exactly. I, exactly. I don't think distance. Distance well, you, should you be. Have, you have uh, some instances where you yeah. really have to travel there, but otherwise. So when we're looking at education, for example, mm -hmm. we should look at, at ways in, in which education can happen over distance, through distance right. uh, uh, learning uh, right. and other things. Right. Um, and Canadian, perhaps Canadian institutions should think of coming here. We need to bring more Indonesians to right. Canada, young people to come to Canada. Uh, part of the, the role that education plays, it creates long-term linkages, linkages that yeah. will be there for the lifetime yeah, 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 of those that participate. That. Okay, uh, we'll talk more about that after this. Uh, please stay with us.